I had a chap send me uh, a drawing the other week and he had an object that had been turned around the origin moved generally mucked about with and he needed to locate it in a certain position and and make it square or flush with the sides of the object that he was going to be sitting on top of so I'm going to show you two examples of how this can be done and on this second one here I'm going to show you how things can go wrong first one we'll do it right and it should be quite straightforward so we're going to look at it in uh, let's have a look in uh, hidden line make it simpler for this one so this one here I'm going to plonk this object on top of here and then straighten it up so the sides are flush okay so we're going to use two tools the first tool we're going to use is under palettes tools and it is this palette here which is called assemble by facet we're also going to use uh, work plane by facet and also we're going to use modify transform rotate okay they're the only three we need to use so first thing we're going to plonk that on top of that and all I need is face to face facet and actually on for me I've put that on the right click of my mouse here it is assemble by facet I'm going to select I want that facet on top of there okay so that's on there now that's on the right plane they're also now to, to lessen the chances of any problems because I'm going to be working on this work plane I'm going to make that my work plane and not totally rely upon snaps so I'm going to go to tools palettes tools work plane by facet that's now my facet I'm working on next job I'm going to do is I'm going to take this point put it in that corner and then rotate that round to be flush with that line there for this let's look at it in wireframe visual styles wireframe select the object pick up the origin by hitting D snap it to the corner of the object hover over it when it changes the cursor left click take your finger off move it to that corner V snap okay so that's there now all I want to do now is rotate this part of it around to be uh, on this line here so modify transform rotate now down the center of rotation with a V snap say the part you want to rotate again with a V snap and then say where you want it to lined up which will be along this line here which I'll do N for nearest graphic deselect everything turn it around have a look uh, that looks fine to me that's on top of there if you want to double check just to make sure it's really clear to you there it is that box is on there okay now same deal for this one only we're going to show you how things can go wrong and then I shall try and rectify it so job number one facet to facet let's put that facet on there right click assemble by facet 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 there it is now if I ignore if I don't bother making this my work plane I'll show you what's going to happen view visual styles I go to wireframe I'm going to select the object the origins even outside I pick it up with a D I take it to the corner there with a V hover over it left click take my finger off left click there uh, V snap there sorry and that is on the right plane you can see and there I just want to rotate and all I want to do is rotate now this part down to there so select it uh, modify transform rotate now the center of my rotation by hitting V pick up the bit I want to move around with a V take that down to where I want it to go to with an N for nearest graphic job done until I turn it around and I can see it's not actually there for some reason look I've got a gap I don't really know why I've got that gap such a small gap might be my might just be something I've done wrong but anyway I'm going to V let's go back all the way to where I was before and do the whole thing again 
I'm going to do assemble by facet that facet onto there now first job I'm going to do now is make this my work plane so that's my work plane now I'm going to do exactly the same thing I'm going to go D for my origin snap it to there with a V pick it up left click take my finger off take it up there snap it with a V while it's still highlighted modify transform rotate center of rotation V snap part gonna move V snap where I'm gonna rotate it along that line there end snap so that's exactly the same thing apart from the fact that this time I made that my work plane and now as we can see it's okay so although you'd think that the you know that the snaps should just take it to where you're snapping it to for some reason it's a good idea to uh, to use this by facet just one other thing to remember about these tools if I was going to say put uh, uh, no not with this one point on the rotation tool when I select an object so I was going to show you something totally different now when I select this object and I go to modify transform and rotate you see down here I can type the angle that rotate into and I've got some variations it defaults to keep original object so it defaults to when you rotate the original object stays there so you rotate it and you'll end up with two objects if that's what you want that's fine if not though if you simply want to rotate the object to move the object just turn that one off there okay and as I say you can type the angle in here if you want to okay that's it all done